guys, Zach Reiser here, and welcome back to another Base Effects Review video. Today, I'm going to be getting into the Mutard from Glue Glue. The Mutard is an all-encompassing synthesizer, mono-synthesizer for your guitar or bass that tracks the pitch of your instrument. Much of the Mutard is very similar to the Pralines, another pedal by Glue Glue that I have done a demo for. I'll link to that below because I go into great depth in that video of the modulation and the filter section, and I'm not gonna dig into that quite as much in this video, so please take a look at that video. All right, we have a lot to dig into, so let's jump right into it. Here's my bass's dry tone, Dingwall, ABZ six string on the neck pickup. All right, so I'm going to start with just the filters. So no fuzz and no PLL because the Mutard is very similar to the Pralines, an incredibly powerful filter pedal. So we have four different low pass filters compared to the Pralines, which had four band pass filters. So in my opinion, this makes the Mutard a little more bass friendly. And we have control of the cutoff frequency of each individual filter, as well as the modulation depth for each filter and the peak or resonance of each filter. So the way I have it set up right now, is kind of that multi low pass filtered sound that you might get in like a baseballs pedal, for instance, that gives you that very vocal like uh, filter effect. <laughs> Sticking with that kind of spread out uh, multi low pass filter sound, but now I'm controlling it instead of with an envelope, I'm controlling it with the built in LFO for some nice kind of watery, fluttery filtering. <laughs> Just to show off the pure tone of the filter, I've changed it to expression pedal control, so I'm manually controlling the cutoff frequency of all four filters, and I have the resonance maxed. Now, the Mutard on purpose does not self-oscillate or self-resonate, but it does have this kind of nice whistling character in the peaky peaky frequencies up there. Now, just like the pralines, the Mutard does include that nice gated fuzz feature. Although, to be completely honest, because of the PLL circuit, I would not use it nearly as much as I would have on the pralines. But here is the fuzz basically by itself. So I have the resonance on all the filters turned off and the filters cut off frequency totally open. So here's a little bit of that fuzz just by itself. And now let's take that fuzz and make it funky by running it into all four filters on their lowest setting on envelope mode. <laughs> got a little wonky right off the bat. So I got the fuzz on, I have my filters spread kind of all across the board in terms of frequency cutoff. And now I'm running the LFO, but the LFO speed is being controlled by my bass's envelope. So the harder I pluck, faster the filter goes. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,
one more fuzzed out effect before we get to the PLL side of things. I am now running all four filters on a lower setting, controlling the cutoff with my foot on the expression pedal, and I'm running all of these into a really nice tape delay on my Strymon Volante. <laughs> to the PLL section of this pedal. I'm kind of skipping over a lot of subtlety on the filter and fuzz side of things, but yet again, if you want to see more details about that, check out my Pralines demo linked in the description below. PLL circuits are kind of wild, untamely beasts many times, and I feel like Glue Glue has done a great job of putting a very musical PLL circuit in here. Now it is 100% monophonic, it's very dependent on your picking attack and your bass's setup in terms of how it tracks. It's gonna track differently on every instrument, so you're just gonna have to experiment. I have the follow and sensitivity knob set where it works for my bass the best. And I'm going to be in the bass setting for a good amount of the video, but the guitar setting is actually kind of nice as well for bass. The main difference is that the bass setting kicks everything up an octave. So if you have it in the guitar setting, it's going to be more of kind of like the way you would treat a Boss OC2 pedal where you're going to be playing higher up in the neck for those subby tones. So I'm gonna start with the unison setting, and with unison setting and voicing at one, essentially I'm getting a doubling effect of my unison pitch and an octave down. It sounds like this. Voicing at two, I'm getting a fifth below my pitch, and then also an octave below my pitch. Voicing number three, we have an octave below and two octaves below. Number four, we get a fifth below and two octaves below. Number five, we have a fifth below and then a fifth that is two octaves below. So let's explore the transpose knob real quick. So I'm back on voicing number two, which is a fifth below and an octave below my signal. It sounds like this. And now let's take that whole thing and shift it up an octave. Most of the time, I would leave this third or fifth switch in the fifth setting because fifths are more neutral, so you could play pretty much anything and get away with it for the most part. Thirds is going to give you some very interesting chordal effects where you almost can get kind of like keyboard synth stabs, and you can get some pretty interesting synth textures. So I have it on voicing number two, unison setting, but now I'm in thirds, and I get this nice kind of minor chord built out of one note.
And we can make this quite a bit synthier, actually anything on the Mutard, by running it into something that thickens it. So my favorite thickening device currently is my Boss DC2W. So the Mutard into that thickening chorus. Let's bring everything full circle. So now I am running these transpose and voicing settings, but I'm running it into a single one of the filters on the filter side with some envelope modulation. a few more filters in making that filtered effect much more pronounced. So let's hear what that sounds like by itself first. And now let's run that into a very large reverb on my Eventide H9. Switching up the voicing and transpose features a little bit, and now I'm running a nice slow LFO modulation on those filters. One more big fat synth sound for you here. I have these particular transpose and voicing settings run into a really spread filter setup and I'm controlling the cutoff with my foot. It sounds like this by itself. Now let's fatten that up a little bit more though and run it back into that Boss DC2W and that large reverb on my Eventide H9. So that is my demo of the Mutard from Glue Glue, a incredibly interesting, unique synth pedal for guitar or bass. And yet again, please check out my demo of the Pralines to get some more descriptions of kind of this side of the pedal, which is linked below. 
As usual, if you liked what you saw here, please subscribe below. It really does help me out. And I'll be back as soon as I can with some more gear demos and some performance videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.